Newton was born in 1642 into an England that was a country in transition. I mean, that was the start of the English Civil War. It was a country where they were still hunting for witches, but also it was a country where science, where rational thought, where reason were beginning to flower. Now, at the time, one of the great questions was about the nature of light. I mean, it was known that if you take a prism and shine sunlight through it, then it splits that sunlight into all the colours of the rainbow. The question was why? Now, the prevailing scientific view was that sunlight must be perfect. This dated all the way back to Aristotle and the ancient Greeks. How could something that comes from the heavens be anything other than perfect? The common explanation for the appearance of the colours was that they were impurities added by the prism to the pure white light. Newton thought that the colours were already present in the white sunlight. But what set Newton apart was the fact that he devised and performed an experiment to test his hypothesis. First, he made a rainbow by shining white light through a prism. Then, and here's the genius, he introduced a slit into that rainbow beam and that allowed him to isolate a particular colour of light and shine that into a second prism. Then he looked for the deflection of the coloured light onto his wall. You can see that over there. Now look what happens when I move the red light across the slit to the green light. On the wall what you see is green light into the prism equals green light out. Now, that implies that the colours themselves are pure. The prism is not adding or subtracting anything. That means that Newton's hypothesis was shown to be correct. The colours themselves are the basic building blocks of light, and white light is made up of all those individual colours. That's genius. Thank you.